Only in Chicago with Richie Z, Chicago's very own storyteller. I have a story for you today, folks, that is just amazing. I don't think it can happen anywhere else other than Chicago. There's two churches that were involved in this story today. St. John of God on the south side of Chicago and St. Peter Cantius around the North Avenue and Cicero Avenue. Now, they took these two churches that were closed down. Both of them were Catholic churches built by the Polish people. Polish people in Chicago built 50 churches. And these two were closed down. There's a town up north on the Wisconsin border called Old Mill Creek. People up there started a church called St. Raphael the Archangel. They were using a barn for the church, but they raised enough money and they wanted to build a new church. Instead of building a new church like everybody else does, they took these two historic churches from Chicago. St. John of God, which originated back in 1918, and St. Peter Cantius, and they used the interior of St. Peter Cantius and the exterior of St. John of God, and took them apart, brought them up north to Old Mill Creek, just north of Antioch, and they built this church that you're seeing right now. You know, again, Richie Z, the storyteller, but also what we're talking about today is just an amazing story. I've never heard of anything like this ever transpiring. St. Raphael of the Archangel is located at 40,000 North U.S. Highway 45 in Old Mill Creek, Illinois. Anybody who's interested, a phone number is 847 895-3474. As I was saying earlier, the work involved in doing what they did is amazing. Now you're seeing so many wonderful things. I got a story though about the stained glass because Chicago was one of the places that was doing stained glass in the day in the 1800s. There, everybody was doing stained glass. But we had a gentleman named Louis Comfort Tiffany. His family owned the Tiffany Glass Company in Chicago, Illinois. They sent Louis to college. He got his master's degree, but he also took a course in art. And he was the one that perfected the art of stained glass that we know today. An amazing thing and you're seeing some of the most beautiful stained glass here I talked to the pastor of this parish uh, when I was going up to film and everything else we had a brief uh, discussion about different things and he made uh, some really interesting comments about the church where they actually went to warehouses in the city where they had stuff put away from these two churches because they were valuable and they didn't want them destroyed or looted or um, you know if the churches burned whatever so they put stuff away well while they were in those warehouses looking for the stuff from St. John of God and St. Peter of Cantius they found a lot of other things like the statue you're seeing right now of the Archangel uh, this church has a lot of angels in it. You all know that I'm a big angel person. So, um, really, really was something. But the exterior, it's just, it's just, it's breathtaking. You know what, folks? I, I just want to say one thing. You know, the churches, the newer churches that they're building now, they don't have that same feeling that these old churches have. That's one of the reasons. You, you all know that I love history and I love architecture and I love something that's beautiful. And it's kind of sad because you could never build this church today because the workmen that put stuff like this together, this station of the cross, or the stained glass from the day, from the era, they're not here anymore. And they haven't trained new people to do this type of work. 
So by doing what they did, they built a church that is, I want to say, it's a journey in faith what we're doing today, but we have a church that when you walk in, you feel, you feel God, you feel the heavenly uh, feeling that it brings to you. You know that the Spirit's there. You know, some of these new churches, it's like a gymnasium. It doesn't, doesn't have that feeling. It doesn't have that warmth of the Catholic faith. You know, the older people like myself, I'm from the uh, uh, older generation, um, can relate to what I'm talking about. But my editor here is like 23 years old. And uh, I'll tell you, Cameron's, he, he just loves this kind of stuff. We, we kind of clicked it. Cameron's my new editor. Hopefully he'll last. But, uh, you know, this is something that it's, it's cool. And you don't have to be old to appreciate the beauty of something like this. You know, I've done thousands of hours of tours in downtown Chicago. I'd love to go and see this, uh, you know, go on. Here I am at the church, and uh, I'm coming in. I actually filmed this whole thing myself. Cameron and I are editing. But it's right after the COVID uh, crisis that we had worldwide. And it's a new normal, but it was right around this time where we're taking the masks off and this and that. So I just wanted to show that, you know, we are able to come back in the church. Because I don't know if any of you realized it, but churches were closed like everything else was. Tour Chicago with Richie Z. Personal and private tours. Two people, four people, or six people. A tour of Chicago you'll never forget. Chicago is our inspiration. The Mag Mile, Museum Campus, Historic Chicago, Theater District, Millennium Park, Water Tower, Art Institute, and so much more. Call Richie Z at 312-841-2560. Our website is at www.richiezie.com. We're also on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube at Richie Z. Go fund me page very important that we get funding for projects like this. We also do historic presentations of Chicago on Zoom. So tune in at RichieZ.com.